Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And your boy, Stanley. All right, we late. It was his birthday and the birthday boy said, I'm not bucking with Tyler Perry tonight. Nah, not on the birthday. And, um, was a good call. Listen, Tyler, <clears throat> I know you may not be watching, but somebody get the word out so that he can at least watch this part. Just because you and Oprah may have had a falling out behind the scenes or whatever, just because you want to take your shows and try to um, sell them to a new network, don't mean that the people that's over here enjoying these shows, sacrificing our evenings yeah. to look at this, take notes, set up, edit, upload, put titles in, respond to comments, don't buck us over like this because yes. this right here, this is almost like how I felt when I was reviewing the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like I quit halfway into it, uh -huh, you and the people said about five, six more episodes. Yeah, left. and like fuck it, and the and the people had to keep coming back and say, "Come on, Lynette, you got to finish it out. Yeah. You got to finish it out." That's how I feel right now, and I hate to feel like this because I rise with on Tyler. Yeah. But we're going to get into enough, enough rambling. It was um a broken goddamn mirror. So y'all make sure y'all say happy birthday to the boo. If y'all didn't say happy birthday to him on yesterday, August 8th was his birthday. Mine is August 18th to Leo's in the hands. Yes, indeed. And for the birthday. <laughs> hey, put some money down there. Down there? Yeah, not, not down here. Down there. <laughs> Don't try no funny business with me. I'm married. So, Jeffrey been pimping since, been pimping since, been pimping, ain't it? Listen, <laughs> see what they really need to name this show. I don't know, but it's something about that father and that son duo right there. Everything they touch turned crazy. D look, at, so. look at Demonica. Demonica been getting um, Davis D for years. And as soon as he pulled back on the D, she done gone she crazy. Done went Crazy. Uh huh. The Jeffrey. Mind. Jeffrey Gay landing the D one time. He crazy. Gone crazy. Jeffrey Je slept with the cop. But Jeff, Jeff, crazy. Justin is the worst one though. I said, what kind of superpowers do they got? When they come do rainbows and glitter pop up. I mean, what the hell is happening here? I don't know. But Landy gets off the elevator like we saw last week and ended up in the room with Jeffrey and Justin Timberlake is still over there just just butterball. I mean just yeah. just, just letting it all letting it all hang out. <laughs> Can you tie it in a bow? Do you need hang low? We don't know. But Landon was like, oh, this is what we into? He was like, wait a minute. Who I, am? Hey, well, I know you. You that cop from down in the lobby. He said, but he said, I thought he was straight. What? He said, well, if I was wrong about him, maybe I'm wrong about Wyatt, too. Yeah, he said, as a matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and have this threesome because you know it's most stimulation for the whole body. <laughs> he said, when you get two men on you, ooh. And then he going to look up underneath the covers and he said, uh -huh. yeah, uh-huh. We're going to have us some fun tonight. I said, you drunk <laughs> bastard. Oh, but the whole time Justin was a little bit too calm. I was he like, was. I was like, usually he popping off. He see why he go crazy shooting at people and want to punch Jeff, um, Jeffrey and it got on face. But now he like, but did you catch the part where um dude was like maybe um why I gay too if I was wrong about him and he was sitting over there like I said don't don't put don't, nothing else in yeah. his head because yeah. now it's <sighs> so after that land to see. He had that dark looker. Y'all saw the dark mm -hmm. looker. Y'all yep. know what it do. It makes everything a little bit tingly. And, and when it get tingly, you just got to do something with it. Landon said, hey, you all, you, look, you all on that bed looking nice and juicy uh -huh. and succulent. Let say me get no on what? top. Say, no, well, you ain't even got to know me. <laughs> but you're going to remember me after the night. <laughs> he gets on top of the cop, just to timulate. And I said, oh, he going to snap. I said, here you go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even mad about it. But what you're not going to do. See, Tyler though, took his, his craziness and his need for sexual assault, rape, mm -hmm. and killing kids. I mean, it always comes into play. So we knew it was going to happen. So I ain't even mad. First of all, how in the hell did Justin get in the room? Crazy 
obsessed. I bet she I bet she uses police um power to get in there. Be oh, like, yeah. if we got an investigation in room one thirty two, yeah, then I could go up there and yeah. went up there and got butter. <laughs> Man, that's some bullshit right there. You check into your hotel. Imagine if somebody, we on vacation one time and we go to put our key card in and we get somebody up in that butter ball. Butter neck. Laying up in the bed. First of all, I'm going to call some of my friends and make sure they didn't order them because my <laughs> friends would do some bullshit like that. <laughs> order some people and be like, man, I knew you would appreciate that joke. No, I wouldn't. Nah, uh -uh. <laughs> that's not like that. You don't play like, play that. like that. Mm -mm, get your tail kicked. So, next thing we know, Jeffy was arguing with, um, what old boy was like, listen, you got to go. Look, Landon, get out of here because I ain't got time for this bullshit. <laughs> well, ended up, what happened? Did Veronica come in yet? Did Monica nah, come in he, yet? Nah, he, he kept on going back and forth with yeah. Justin. And he was like, get out. And Justin was like, okay, I'm leaving. And he went to open the door. And that's when the devil came in. Yeah, but then at the same time, we got Justin Timberlake over there just declaring his love. For Jeffrey. Jeffrey was like, dude, you don't even know me like that. He, he said, like, I'm in love with you. Like, what? It's like, like, dude, you married. You got, got kids. You got a whole family. A whole package. Back at the helm. You know, you know she can take your whole police check. <laughs> and it ain't much. <laughs> That's why they stay so frustrated, I guess. So, next thing we know, he talking about some. Oh, Jeffrey told him, said, listen. Why don't you just go back to what you used to do? Um, sucking off um, inmates in the back of police cars. And I said, <laughs> what? Like, where did that come from? Yeah, Jeff, the only one we know that he messed with was you. you. <laughs> and Jeffrey let us know that said, no, I'm not the only one. I'm just the only one that you have enjoyed. And I was like, it's like what? What the hell is happening here? Have y'all been having pillow talk that we haven't been privy to? Because where did this yeah, come from? Oh, yeah, because or just for just assuming because that's what he did to him. Like them country people say, you pull that out of your A. <laughs> so the next thing we know, Demonica comes running up in the room and I won't even mad. She over there like, she video recording me. Stand down, got doing condom on the um, nightstand. Hey daddy, wash rag on nightstand. I said, oh, she gonna see, get his tail. see, he's stupid. Veronica told him, I'm going to be on your tracks. Everywhere you at, I'm going to be there. And she was. And she was right there to record it. Now, gotcha. I said, Demonica ain't even the, the one with the, the devil in the red dress. She had on the black, black one tonight. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, whatever. So, so she was on that ish tonight, boy. So then we go on over there to Erica and Davis. Now, Erica, she's on the telephone talking to War. Dumb. Basically saying, I can't get a pinpoint on what room the chick is in. But Candace is definitely here at this hotel. You want me to call the cops on? I said, well, when did, when did criminals start call, getting call, the police yeah, involved? Call. Yeah, that's the last thing you want to do. Well, what's the hell no? I want that beef on my God. No, son. Now, first of all, you too scared to come out the projects. You too scared to turn on the lights. So how you going to go get somebody when you can't even leave your little, your little room? Yeah. <laughs> you got 15 goons in a room, and I know y'all stink. I know y'all do. <laughs> Smell like feet weed, feet weed, and hard part. Hello. <laughs> and just throw in a wine, black and mild, just to, you know, cut just that air. Season, yeah. know, just to season the air a little bit. Well, they need to go and smoke that right now. Because <laughs> you get, because it, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Erica comes on out the room, and by this time, David is awake. You know, he don't got, he, he don't got energized, you know. He don't, he was woe out. Yeah, he's like, hey. <laughs> what is it, Stella? Hey, who you was in there talking to? You know, you looking mighty good. She said, "Oh, this is your shirt that I got on." He said, "Mm-hmm." And you look sexy too. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> had them got them see this high stuff tonight, boy. They were. <sighs> she had them Victoria's Secret said hello. Like what was that? What was that got done move when he said, "Did you do motorboat and tinkle?" <laughs> she can do that home. She can. <laughs> <laughs> shut the hell up! I got time for this bullshit tonight. I really don't. I gotta bring something to this goddamn table. <laughs> so Erica was like, "You know what?" Oh, cause David's phone rang. So you know they talk and having their little moments or whatever. So then David's phone rang, and Erica was in the middle of telling um, telling David said, "You know, I said I don't like the crazy ex-wife thing, but that one." 
She's funny. Yeah, she's like, exciting. She, I like this yeah, one. Yeah, she keep me on my toes. You know, messing with her sometimes. You know, <laughs> have y'all ever had somebody that y'all like to buck with just because, just for skits and giggles? Like, sometimes when people get crazy in the comments, like, I just do it for skits and giggles. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm, I'm like a cat. And then when I'm sick and tired of you, I be like, eh, block. Oh, like, block. <laughs> 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 like, well, I, I do that sometimes. So, that's what she was like, oh. You know, she fun sometimes for skits and giggles, you know, and I was like, yeah, for now. For right now. So then his phone rings, and of course, it's da um, Jim. I, I hate the way that he answered the phone to David. David! It's Jim! It's Jim! We know who the fuck you is! We've been hearing your voice for freaking 25 seasons! Your face finally unbruised. It is! I didn't finally even know Finally unbruised! Finally! And I'm sitting here like... He talked, I call David the trustee, trustee David. David gets everything done. I need you to come down to the lobby now. First of all, he asked him what room he in. Yeah. David was looking around like, dude, nah, you ain't coming I'm up in here. my drawers. So I don't care how urgent it is. I'm going to make sure this puss is marinating on him so I get back. You ain't bucking mm -hmm. all this up in here for me, play. Huh. So David said, I'm going to come down there where you at. Just give me a few shakes. So then he puts his clothes on. He told Erica, say, hey, I'm going to need my shirt back. I'm going to need my shirt back. But uh, you you stay looking just like that. So when I come back, round two, three, four, put it on you to you so he so he probably read for round two. But Jim always bucking up his bucking he up. He do mess every, up his... every time David got his swerve on and got puss in in, in the room, and he come on a goddamn phone, blocking. He, but that's always like them hating hating their friends. Yeah, they don't be getting none <laughs> themselves. They always won't block you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cause you ain't getting that from your old lady. Don't mean you gotta block David. Dick and David said he he's a faithful tither. Uh huh. He goes Sunday school. Matter of fact, he on the choir. <laughs> he, he teach. He the pastor's armor bearer. <laughs> he drive the church van. <laughs> and he open up the church in the morning so y'all can do baptism. And you mean to tell me he, he can't get some, no pussy? He gotta put some respect on his name. <laughs> He said, I just want to get some puss in peace. <laughs> that's, that's all I want to do. I just want to hit it till it's so. Well, he well, hit it and put it in, put it in the sleep. Yeah, she did that. David, it's your turn. It's your turn. You got to redeem yourself. But she don't for getting on that phone, though. Yeah. Can't and told we know. Like, Why in the world are you getting on this phone? I believe David heard something. Yeah, he I know. Don't... Yeah, he know. But, but, he, but he. But y'all say y'all we t we say that y'all get dickmatized. I think that's he, a lie. He pussymatized. Yeah. I ain't known they woman yet. I can't say that. Yeah, I've known some. Yeah, I have too. That's great to say. But, but I, don't think, David, I don't think that was all it. I, yeah, that's a whole. That's a that's a topic for a whole nother video. Please. I know how it works. We said we were gonna go live one day, and that's just gonna be unscripted, and we just gonna talk about some stuff. What y'all think about that? Cause yeah, we have never gone live on neither one of our live. channels, which is crazy. Now that we do, we won't do no show. We just get on here and just, yeah, just, just talk, talk some bullshit. That's all. But I have to, like, I'm scared <clears> because <throat> I'm a person that needs to be filtered sometimes. So I'm afraid that if I'm live, I can't take back what I said. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> You say something like, let me get that back, let me get that back. Not uh, too late, it's out there now. So Dick and David said, listen, if I'm gonna have these scenes where I got to show myself, I'm gonna be straight. Don't be Dick cut. and David said, listen, I've been doing the games. I got my skin on point. Yes, I son. said, I see you. I see you, David. Nice caramel skin. Over there looking like a, uh, what's the bomb? Butterscotch candies we used to eat with uh -huh. little. He said, Go ahead now. He said, don't mess with me. I've been doing P90X and, and, and insanity and all that good stuff. He was looking like a Werther's original. That's what he looked like. <laughs> Dick and David looked like a Werther's original. Oh. Got those smooth and chewing. Go ahead, boy. <laughs> Dick and David put them clothes on and ended up down there in that lobby. So it's Dick and David, Jim, and, and Oscar. Oscar. Well, Deacon David is giving um David um yeah Deacon Jim is giving Deacon David a rundown of all the book the stuff that's been bucked up. Yeah. Listen, we tried to get war. I couldn't have him on the phone for twelve mm -hmm. minutes, so we're not able to track him. First of all, who talks on the phone for twelve minutes? Yeah, why it takes so long to track? Y'all letting us know about how it 12 really works. Twelve minutes? When people on the phone take you twelve minutes to get me? I can look through my entire phone log right now, and I guarantee I ain't talked to nobody in the last year for twelve, 12 minutes. minutes. Yeah. If you don't text me, you just don't get... I don't even talk to my brother that long. Yeah. That's a long time. I Skype with my niece. I'm like, we got... It. We got modern technology. What you, you can You can track planes. Well... Yeah. Well, nah, y'all... Y'all couldn't find that Malaysian plane. plane. Yeah, y'all couldn't... 
But you got freaking Google Maps that can put in somebody's address and you can see their house. But it takes you 12 minutes to track somebody's location on the phone. That's what I told somebody at work one day. I said, how is it that Google know what I'm going to type before I type it, but y'all can't find a whole plane? Matter of fact, when you go on some websites and you type in the address, it'll ask you, you want us to allow you a location? And you say, yeah, and it'll bring up everything that's around you, but it'll take you 12 minutes to find out <laughs> where war is at? Come on here, dog. Come on now. How many projects they got? Y'all know he in the projects. Narrow it down, God darn it. You said but, you got a radius. But we go back to that movie that um Holly Berry played in when they when they had the track phone. I mean, it took them a long mm -hmm. time. Maybe it's because it's a track phone. Fuck that track phone. You know it's all owned by Verizon. <laughs> yeah, all yeah, it's owned by one big company. They got it. it is. It's all smoke and mirrors. It sure is. Like they um I seen this meme y'all on Facebook. And y'all know the guy that used to be like the first person for Verizon. He done went on over to Sprint, but he don't gain weight. So they said, listen, you was over there on Verizon where you can move around freely and talk on your phone, but now you're over there with Sprint where you ain't got no goddamn signal. So now <laughs> you don't gain weight because you got to stand still to make a phone call. I said, y'all wrong for that. But it That's was right. True. And they always bragging you when they're bragging about how much high, how, sucks. how cheap Sprint is, but you Sprint don't work too good in the, in the, in the um, in country Virginia, area. In Virginia, don't y'all yeah. get Sprint. Now you in the city, it works good, but if you go in the country, mm -mm. can you hear me now? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no, nothing work here but Verizon and AT and T. Uh huh. So um, so um, they couldn't get a tracking on war because they couldn't get him on that phone for twelve minutes. So Jim pissed off about that. So then Jim um sits there and tells David, "Listen, Mama Rose is on one today because yeah. Oscar showed him the goddamn news, news. <laughs> where she don't dropped off the body." At the news station, which we saw last week. So Jim said, "This is bad for both of us." How you say? How you say what you called Sarah Toad was? James. James, James, James Toad. Toad. <laughs> said, and then what? I purposely looked at it that I wanted to see. Because I didn't notice it last week. But you know, it looked like on what is the eyes when the, when the house land on the Wicked Witch her toes was up like that. I said she <laughs> she wrapped up like like old leftover on chicken legs. Uh huh. <laughs> Like, you know, wrap them up. You say you would go back and eat them, but you never do. Or oh, one of them cheap ham sandwiches at the convenience store. Oh, my God. No. Bologna sandwich. Yeah. Did y'all used to... Nah, y'all might be city folk. But if y'all country folk, y'all used to go to the um, convenience store. You used to get gas. You used to get $5 on pump one. Yeah. Then you go inside the store and you ask the cashier to make you um, a bologna and cheese sandwich. Light on the mayo. And um, you go get you a... Um, Pineapple Fanta. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. And some rough potato chips to go yeah, around. Yeah, my sisters it. eat Slim Jims. That stuff is disgusting. I ain't that old, but I remember the day where you can and go to the Chico Sticks. When you used to go to the game, I mean, I ain't never pull up. This was gone by the time I started driving. But what? you can pull up, somebody there to pump your gas, get the get the gook off your windows. Stanley, we the same freaking age, and I remember that. I, I said I wasn't driving then. Who the I, hell you yelling I, at? I, I just remember when I used to go there with other people, and they get it done. I got it done, too. And we're the same age. Oh, oh, what? Oh, uh, well, where you from? They behind anyway. That's a lie. You the one from matter, the freaking States. Matter of fact, they just started doing that. We don't they just stopped doing that last week. Where you from? Stanley, <laughs> y'all just getting a goddamn Walmart. The only place y'all got to eat is McDonald's and Pizza Hut. So don't go there with me. I mean, you ain't even originally from there. I'm not. I'm yeah. not originally so, from here. So where you, from where you originally from, all they got is a code to sell that good fried chicken. Y'all just got Burger King. Y'all just got. Uh, Why uh, are we arguing about this? Y'all just got a Bojangles. Did we? Y'all just got a bank. No, that's not where I'm from. That's that's that's. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's it close to it. It's close. That's where you had to drive there. So matter of fact, y'all ain't got skit. That shut the hell up. I ain't got time for you. <laughs> y'all like these rabbit holes? We got to give you something today. So, David said, listen. I need to talk to Mama Rose because me and Mama Rose got a great relationship. See, you might have pissed her off, but I'm going to be able to calm this down. So Jim said, listen, <laughs> did you not realize what just happened here? A black thug shot at her grandson. Took a pop shot. Said, do, do you, he said, do you remember uh, Blood Red Tuesday? Do you, should I remind you of that? When some black thug took a shot at one of her thugs? And how she went to the housing project and shot up everything that, that was moving. moving. <laughs> 14 people died that day. 
I mean, this was worse than North Korea getting mad now. Jim, uh, David said, yeah, I remember because I was on the bench. He said, so think about it now. <laughs> we the ones she mad at now. <laughs> now. I'm like, no. No, she, she mad, mad at, at you, you, Jim. She don't know nothing about David. And he said, well, we got wore out. And I said, do she know that David helped do that? Because I don't nah, think she, she don't knows. Know now. She don't know nothing about David. So anymore. David, yeah. I would send David in. No, I wouldn't. Not, not. No, nah, because he told me he'll wrap you up in plastic and put you in a restaurant <laughs> freezer. <laughs> and, and David was like, yeah, said, you might be right. Said you'd be a frozen version of God doing Jennifer Salison. Uh, Salisbury <laughs> State. Yeah. So then we go over to the police station, right? And at the same time, we got Mitch, we got Hannah, we got Catherine, and Demonica comes rolling in. And I said, well, when did she get David's truck? Yeah. But anyway, it, like, but she had a truck like that too. Though. She do. She yeah, do. she had a truck like that too. So she now, that's pulls ghost up. truck. <laughs> yeah, it's ghost. That she stole the back from David. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, speaking of, y'all know all the episodes leaked today, right? Mm hmm I got the links to them, so I need to go watch them, and I'm gonna pre-record all my reviews. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna lie to nobody. So spit them up there and spit them out. <laughs> so. Mitch is calling her while she's trying to get through the gate to get in there, you know, so she can do her, her lawyer duty. So she was like, you know what? I'm here. Wait for me. We're going to go on there. So when she comes in, half lays eyes on her, said, what the fuck is you she doing, doing here? here? She said, well, I'm representing your son. She said, said to no, him, you, you is. are not. I said, Hannah, you ain't got no you money. You ain't got no money. You know, you know how much a retainer costs? So Catherine is over there like. Baby, I know you. Yeah. I know you full of faith. You speak yeah. in tongues. Uh huh. You, you from first, first, uh, first tabernacle, tabernacle back to church on the hill on Calvary with tambourines on your feet. Yeah. I know you believe in all of that right now, <laughs> but this right here, she's, she's gonna the, be the best. Yeah, she's I the said, best. I said, what happened to Marty? Marty never call you back. Marty don't never call him back. Matter of <laughs> fact, every time they don't call Marty, he don't answer the phone and he don't call him back. Marty said, I ain't fucking with y'all no more. Y'all always got some skit going <laughs> and want me to fix it. So Katha said, listen, go ahead and let her do it. She said, oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't want her represented. I don't, this ain't nothing but old devil. Katha said, mm -hmm. it's better to have a devil that you do know than to have a uh, devil that you, you don't. don't know. I said, you know what? <laughs> that is that sound. That's the truth. I always tell people that. I said, when I know what I'm dealing with, I can deal with you. But yeah. when, when I'm trying to figure you out is when I'm unstable. But if I know you're a crook, I can deal with you. I just know don't leave my skin around you. Don't trust you. Don't bar don't lend you no money. <laughs> but, but you know what I thought about though? I thought about uh, was talking to our pastor one day. You know, church folk just do what they want to do. And I was like, just just put them out. <laughs> and he was like, no, I can't do that. I said, he yes, said, he said, my pastor taught me is you got to feed the sheep and milk the goats. I was like, what, what the heck does that mean? He said, I feed the sheep the word, but I take advantage of what the goat, the goats can bring to the ministry. So the, I take the benefits from the goats <laughs> and I feed the sheep. And frustrate the hell out of them. I, 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 yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't say it exactly, but you understand, you know, you get, the, yeah. I, I said, I Bishop. Guess, is it backdoor using? <laughs> I said, I said, Bishop, but I like it though. <laughs> I said, they getting on my fucking nerves, use them. So when, um, <laughs> when, um, <clears throat> Catherine, uh, when, um, yeah, Catherine said, yeah. you know, you got a devil on your hands. As long as you know what you're dealing with, it is what it is. Demonica gonna look at Catherine and say, hey, hey Catherine, oh, uh, hey, um, uh, Hannah. Hannah, you, you standing, standing right, right by one. <laughs> I said, you know what? <laughs> and then at one point, she was like, bang, bang. bang. I said, stop it. <laughs> so they still having this exchange back and forth. And Hannah is like, no, she's not going to be representing my son. It is what it is. So, so then finally, 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 Mitch has stepped in and Catherine stepped in again and said, listen, Hannah, let this woman represent your son. So Demonica said, you know what? I could be in the bed, sleeping, doing what I need to do, torturing Melissa, but instead I'm down here and you ain't even grateful. You know what? And if you want my services, you need to ask nicely. Matter of fact, said, nope. get on your knees and ask me. I said, she said, I ain't getting on my motherfucking knees and um and begging you and asking you for nothing. <laughs> Demonica said, what did she say? It was funny as hell to me and I had to well, write it what down. She, what she said about the Harry telling me? She said, oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> what she said? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. 
She said, all right, Miss Tubman. Yeah, all right, Miss Tubman. <laughs> and I said, Tyler, that's a dead giveaway that you watch reviewers because we always yeah, talk uh -huh. about how we call her Hannah the Slave because yep. of how she talk and how submissive she is when she gets around white people. I said, yeah, Tyler been watching. So she said, all right, do what you got to do. Just get me in front of my son. And she was like, I just still need you to ask nicely. So by this time, Mitch said, you know what, Demonica, Miss Harrington, you know, we would appreciate it. She said, now that's how you ask. You know, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do my job. And then she going to she look over there at, um, at um, Hannah and was like, go on over there now. Sit down now, you hear? <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm done. I can't do it. I can't do it. Ooh. So then back over there in the um, interrogation room, they still on Benny about this DNA. Benny was like, God, God, I don't want you. Yeah. Yeah. Just take well, it. Let me know what's going on. I just need to know why I'm here because I want to go home. So they bring up the Malones and you know you know Mitch Malone and da 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 It's like, well, we've been investigating them for some terrorists this and some this, that, and the third. And he's like, what, the, what does that have to do with, do with me? me? He was like, you know what? If you ain't going to let me go till you get my blood, take it. It well, is he, what it is. Well, he got frustrated and he said, that what I said? He <laughs> said, okay. I said, why is y'all trying to do Benny like this? <laughs> Benny can't spell terrorist. Yeah. No, nothing say terror or risk about goddamn Benny. He said T E O R I. <laughs> That's how I said it too. <laughs> <laughs> T I. <laughs> so, next thing we know, because that was basically the end of that. And we see Candace in her room, and she's trying to get Metro PCS to give her her old telephone number back. And they was like, mm-mm, can't do it. Um, yeah. Somebody named Charles Obama fixed that Say, real good all, thing. Oh, that's blocked. You can't get your old number back. So then Charles Obama comes in there walking in there looking like he just came, got released from private school. <laughs> and he was like, oh, what you trying to do? She said, I'm trying to get my old number back. You know, people might be trying to reach out to me. I'm a like mom. my son. My, you know, he was like, well, why don't you call your mom? Don't she got custody of your son? And I'm sitting here like, and you still nothing clicks. We all the way this far. And we still don't have anyone that has told us nothing. I don't care. No See, way. I was going to dress. I was going. I'm going to dress that right now. He know everything it is to about her. Know that a dead body on her hand. Know where she live at. Know what her occupation is. He said, matter of fact, I knew all that when you was down in the lobby. You trying to tell me that you ain't and you and you didn't see in the records that her son is dead? Oh, Alaska know that she, that this yeah. son dead. Yeah. Alaska knows. He just ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying nothing. Y'all know what Alaska is. That yes. stuff you put in your hand and curl up. <laughs> Alaska QP knows what the hell's going on. So well, then, he trying to keep her, keep her at bay. Keep her, keep her docile because she front of that. She, she gone. She gone. So this thing we know, he told her, say, you know what? <clears throat> Don't you want a better life? Don't you want a new life? You know, make all this bullshit go away that you used to do. And she was like, yeah, you know, who yeah, wouldn't who want a fresh start? State? Yeah. And he basically told her, said, listen, I used to be in some ranking of the military. I don't remember what it used to be. But he was like, basically, I got pulled out of that and I got polished up and I got groomed for this. Mm -hmm. And nobody knows anything about my past. And I said, well, what kind of past did you really have? Yeah, what'd you do? I mean, because if you was in the military, that's noble. You know, yeah. certainly if you're trying to be president or something like that. So what you do? Yeah. Was you working for North Korea? Was you over there messing with them Russians? <laughs> huh? Spill it, spill it, spill it beans down. I ain't gonna say nothing about Trump this week because I be pissing people off when I talk about Trump. <laughs> but was you working? I'm gonna get pissed off because Look, it's the truth. Was you? What, did you work for Trump at some point? <laughs> <laughs> but he, but he pretty much spilled the tea. How it works? They, they pick people. You, a uh, candidate is not elected. They are selected. Selected? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> selected. And you're given a choice from what they select. And then you think you're voting in the person that you want. Nah, they get who they want. And polish them up and make their past go away. As if they ain't never did nothing. So, basically. They polished you up too, didn't they? Mm -mm. I'm still waiting. <laughs> still waiting. I've been trying. I'm much better than I used to be. All of us are. No, that's not true. Man, as you get older, you you, you know, like the Bible says, you no. put away childish. Some of us put away no. childish things. I get ready to say, I can name a whole <laughs> few of them that have got worse. Huh. So, she was like, yeah, what do I have to do to get this new beginning? 
And he said, basically, be my number one. Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, no. I yeah, want me first lady. Yeah. He said, listen, you was good. Your head game was good and your riding was stellar. But ain't yet got no, no good. Mm, you ain't, uh -uh. I ain't doing that. He said, listen, I'll do you, the, I'll do you one like this. I'll make you the only one. Yeah. But you ain't gonna, you, look. You ain't gonna be the one. You ain't gonna be the one, but I'll make you the only the one. The only one. Say, matter of fact, so I'll put you in the house. Make sure you get that law degree that you want. Uh, and all that good stuff, make all your past go away. You won't even know that you, you know, that you mess with Jim Cry and none of the motherfuckers. Have people down in place. Yeah, won't know nothing about that. You be clean as a whistle. So she said, that murder, you can make that go away too. He said, now about that. <clears throat> he said, that was a little bit too public. There was a body involved. Other people know. So that right there, I can make it go away, but somebody gonna have to take the fall for it. And I said, no, 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 so no, 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 no. She was like, who gonna take the fall for it? He said, well, matter of fact, I'm already working on it. And he said, I already have the person in custody. And it's gonna be your brother. She was like, what? my brother? What? You gonna make my brother? And I said, it. Candace, if you let your brother go down for this bullshit right here, I promise you, I will find you. I will find you. I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do because you never know what let people know what the <laughs> next move is. But I will find you. I know we give Benny a hard time, but like I, like I even said about Ghost on Power, if he go to jail, let him go to jail for the crime Something that he, he did, did do, Come. not the one he didn't do. Cause matter of fact, he was the one that came by the house and helped you bury that bastard in the ground. Well, he could have been at home. Yeah, he could have been like, you know what? You full of booskit. You on your own with this. You and Jeffrey. Y'all killed him. So y'all deal with it. I'm gone. And y'all can deal with that old lady across the street. Yeah. But so, now, nah, him being a good, naive brother, try to help you out. And he's still probably going to get pinned on it because it, it brings <clears> that came off anyway. I don't know where we're going with this show. It's but I almost, wonder, but you know, I, I wonder if she's going to be like, don't do my brother, but I got somebody else. If she make Mitch take the fall for this? No, 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 not Mitch. Who? Jeffrey. Because Jeffrey was the one that did the stabbing. Mm. I don't know, but all I know is, I don't know what Tyler's doing. The kind of writing that we're getting right now is almost like he hired somebody off of Fiverr.com. And paid him five dollars uh, to finish this out. He didn't even pay for the upgrade. No, he didn't pay for any upgrades. He didn't even pay to um. Cause we still have a whole lot of hoes. You know, first she don't know, she don't know that little Quincy did. Let's go back to Amanda. Yeah, we we don't fully know the the whole Amanda situation. We don't know where the got on college um dude is at. Oh, he did. He did. Yeah, she remember they shot him up. The professor. Yeah. Yeah, they shot him up. Well, they got so many hoes. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm done. So I don't know if she's going to take the deal, y'all. What y'all think? Y'all think she's going to take I, the deal? I told Lynette, I said, pretty much what he's offering her, which she already have it on a whole nother level. She just ain't got to put in the work no more. She got one that she got to take care of, and she's set for life. But it's still some strings attached, like you said. But like he said, you're going to own me. He said, no, nah, I'm not going to own you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. When you are. When you feel it itch and she don't scratch it, all hell going to break loose. Yeah. He's creepy now. He's creepy. He he reminds me of a more polished version of um of Terry Silver from Power. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> phone ringing. Our house phone never rings for like the last two days. It's been ringing off the hook. Nobody calls us on our house phone. And it rings no, like all nobody time. know that that house phone. But what it was is, you know how when you get a new um, service and the bundle deal is cheaper together? Yeah. The, they just give you some random number. And they give number. you a random number. That's what that is. And I can't turn the ringer off for some strange reason because my, I don't know. The phone. We just need to get some new phones. New to phones. Turn, turn the ringers off. Because I can turn the phones off of two of them but not one. Yeah. So that's why. But that's it, y'all. We talked enough. Yeah. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Holla.